Hi Aquarius, thank you so much for joining me here for your reading. So we're going to go ahead and do a what your intuition is right about and just clarifying whatever it is that you guys are feeling right now in regards to opportunities and you know things or people that could be coming into your life really just anything that you're picking up on it's going to be giving you know heavy on well I already know you know I already know that people see me this way or they feel about me this way or I have these opportunities coming in for me um uh, people watching me from my past or keeping up with me you know whatever that could be um you know it just anything that your intuition is picking up on in regards to people places or things coming towards you so let's go ahead and see what Aquarius's intuition is right about okay what is Aquarius's intuition right about and also welcome to all the new Aquarius um people that have joined the channel like welcome welcome guys Let's go ahead and see what's going on here for my Aquariuses. What is that intuition right about? Uh, I'm going to do a who, what, when, where. All right. Should we do the who, what, when, where, why? All right. Let's do the five, five W's. I don't know why I'm being guided to do it that way, but let's see. What is Aquarius right about? Let's talk about who. Who is Aquarius right about? What is that intuition picking up on in regards to a person? Who, who, who? Are you an owl? Maybe, like, again, that could just be showing you guys are super wise in regards to this. It's like, again, heavy on that I already know. The hermit doesn't say a lot, but when they do speak, again, it's a microphone drop moment. Five of coins kind of flipping out like that to the side. Maybe somebody um, wants more with you. They could be feeling this lack of some kind. Let's go ahead and see what else comes out. But the way that kind of flipped up, somebody, your intuition is picking up on somebody wanting something more with you. Maybe this is like whatever it is that they can give you. It's like they're envisioning a life with you or some kind of set of circumstances playing out or a story unfolding. And they feel like they don't have it. We have the nine of cups. So in regards to a person here, Aquarius, your intuition is picking up on, uh, you know, some of you, it could be somebody leaving a set of circumstances in order to move towards you with some kind of wish fulfillment. Nine of cups as well is what about somebody living in a frame vibrationy. So you may actually be picking up on intuitively and spirit is saying that you're right about a certain set of circumstances where somebody is very disappointed in a current position that they may be in life it could be their connection to like a person um or just like an environment that leaves them feeling really disappointed you know it's like somebody's actions hasn't followed through with words and eventually the words of their connection to a person or thing has just lost value over time this person is definitely contemplating removing themselves from a set of circumstances so that they can move towards you as they see you some kind of wish fulfillment and uh when i say putting themselves in a frame vibrationally this is some this is somebody that emotionally feels an emotion of the future in the now before it arrives so this person could be manifesting you uh, they could be manifesting whatever it feels like to be with you to have you in their life with nine of cups energy again it's just giving like heavy strong um like visualization it's it's a it's a manage uh, imagination kind of like energy coming through there so someone could be envisioning or maybe you find yourself like thinking about a person or you're having certain visuals that you're picking up on intuitively Let's take a look and clarify this who. Who is this? Or why are they doing this? Like, who, who? Clarifying the nine of cups, we have the eight of wands. So yeah, you definitely feel like, oh, okay, uh, let's talk about it. With the seven of swords, someone could definitely be spying online, okay? Some of you, this is through social media. Maybe like, um, you know, it could be their accounts or it could be them lurking on like a different account, but maybe this is someone that doesn't really say a lot. Uh, they're going through more of like a full-blown relationship with you in the head for like the meantime. Um, 
just strongly visualizing what a life would with you would be like and they're planning on coming towards you okay some of you this person um like they pleasure themselves to the thought of you maybe you're you're feeling that okay maybe you feel like oh did this person like screenshot an image that, or, or photo that i just posted online um it's kind of giving that kind of energy there Mm -hmm. okay and uh because again eight of wands is a libido and it could be something that's very like sexually charged or you know again someone's like sex drive and them kind of imagining things there with the knight of cups when it comes to receiving the fruits of their labor this is about harvest station and then reaching a point of um let's just say like again like a climactic point um and seven of swords is them doing it in the um the comfort of their own mind or behind the scenes right this is someone that's doing something you know that not really anybody else knows about except for them um so yeah this person is almost like planning on coming towards you as well this is someone that's planning for the future to make that dream a reality okay because again knight of cups uh, sorry nine of cups again is some maybe they are a knight, knight of cups which is someone that dreams more than they actually take action towards um it's someone that takes a little bit of time uh, to really focus on how they're gonna take inspired action in a particular direction they could be a daydreamer in nature okay strong water sign energy there coming through as well so some of you are definitely feeling that and you're right okay so yeah uh strong sagittarian energy there too with the eight of wands this could be someone from a foreign place foreign land they could be somebody that has different cultural like backgrounds to your own different walks of life it could be someone that likes to travel but i'm seeing something in specific where if you've posted something like on social media because against two social media cards like on your story and you feel like someone is like you know they're the first one to like you know see whatever it is that you post or whatever that is or they could just be like hearting or liking it uh, but not actually making like forward like announcements towards you there's not open communication right now uh they're just imagining all the things that they would say to you and all the things that they would do to you for the time being before they do actually come forward so yeah i feel like they're playing with uh whatever it is i've got my cat down there just like playing um with something oh my god uh, anyway like yeah so let's go ahead and take a look at who what so let's take a look at what it is that your intuition is picking up on this could be an opportunity it could be whatever spirit wants to talk about here but let's see what aquarius and their intuition is right about okay we have the six of swords so what your intuition is right about here Aquarius let's clarify this real quick I'm hearing was right about as well a lot of you have cut your losses from a situation whether that be recently or in like the near past okay um what your intuition was right about here Aquarius is leaving a situation behind okay or your connection to a to a, to a thing um or again person I feel like for a lot of you was the best decision that you ever could have made for yourself even though you could currently be feeling like you're going through a rite of passage this person is about to move on to where the grass is greener and this could be about your connection to people and kind of opening that up um after realizing that a certain environment or just like again a relationship to something is just really not for you and it's a decision that you did make to work on some kind of self-development or like mastery where you feel like it's contributing towards your level up or it's a decision that you made with a lot of intention and it's something that served a purpose but maybe no longer does in your life and you're realizing the things that do now serve a purpose moving forward and your intent you're like what this was and your intention behind making this move and going through some kind of sacrificial energy where you were seeing the gift in the releasing your intuition is picking up on what it is that you're going to receive and a lot of you this is contributing towards some kind of glow up so your intuition was right when it comes to what you left behind uh, it could have been a person a place or thing but again you going through a rite of passage and leaving behind like what people may say or how they could think or how they're going to feel towards you after taking some kind of action was the best thing for you and again some of you could still be in a in-between worlds phase where you're kind of
following that river towards your destination. But it's really allowing you to level up some kind of aspect of your life. And the underlying reason is that you were planning and preparing for the future that you wanted and you, there's a certain path that you didn't want to progress down. And one of, like your connection to a person, place or thing was keeping you stagnant to some kind of degree and it could have been a decision that you were at a crossroads in regards to for a long time but some kind of connection that you had to somebody or something became a burden to you and you decided to take the responsibility for your well-being and make a finite decision around moving down a path that may be unf unfamiliar to you but could lead you to invite serious fulfillment into your life you're seeking an essence but not necessarily knowing the form but realizing that to find something worth exploring you can't play it safe and you can't like live life upon the surface so a lot of you are really just going deep within yourself during this time you're going deep when it comes to exploring your full potential kind of going through this evolution process which involves eliminate, eliminating to some kind of degree and this process of elimination lightened your load for a lot of you it lightened maybe the mental burden that a situation had on you and it's now allowing you to put the focus on yourself um, to master certain aspects of yourself that maybe you had neglected so this is what your intuition was right about and a lot of you are currently experiencing this or this is what it is that is coming in for you because of this so yeah it's heavy on the I already know maybe this is a, something that you already knew that you had to do and now you're kind of seeing the effects of that and it's like I knew it you know looking back in hindsight this is the best decision that I had ever made for myself so you know congratulations there you know if that's something that you are resonating with right let's go ahead and take a look at who what where let's take a look at where your intuition is right about this could be like a location or your connection to like a place or thing here but let's take a look at where Aquarius's intuition is right about This doesn't have to be a physical move, but it could be like a move that you're wanting to make in life, okay? We have the Queen of Queens. So this is your, your ability to get something done, even if it didn't turn out the way you planned or something's not like turning out the way you planned, it's still gonna turn out the way you hoped. Some of you feel or felt like here. You needed something outside of yourself to attain a certain goal and you're realizing that you had this stability and security within that inner soul sanctuary all along to see something through. But it's like your pure willpower and determination is getting you to where it is that you need to go. And this could be a physical location, but you're realizing that being taken to internal places of stability is way more profound than anything that the external can bring you. Okay, so where it is that your intuition is correct about is by you guys really taking the time out to reevaluate your path forward and how you need to start to make different decisions in your life, especially when it comes to you people that could present themselves to you opportunities that could present themselves to you and seeing that if you want to change your current set of circumstances it could require a different approach for you okay and you're gaining clarity on where it is that you want to go or what it is that you need to decide for yourself to get to where it is that you need to go and what feels like it's more in alignment with you and alignment with your values. And this is allowing you to feel like you're taking control of your purpose, destiny, and fate here, Aquarius. So by you going within, You're gaining all the clarity that you need. It's like you don't need acceptance. You don't need permission from anything outside of yourself or anyone outside of yourself to attain a certain goal or to make moves that you want to make. 
you know that's what you're really understanding when it comes to your own personal journey it's like to get to where it is that you need to go your intuition is telling you to focus on your own personal universe and this is going beyond like the opportunities that present themselves to you or what people try to offer you it's like you're really seeing that there's a different strategy that you're taking to life now and it's realizing that it's not what other people think is best for you but it's what you know is best for yourself that's taking you where it is that you need to go in turn allowing you to take control of your purpose destiny and fate and again this is allowing your head and heart to really come in union so that you can move full force in a particular direction knowing that you're never really going to control like the way that people see you or how they feel about you or what they're going to say about you making certain decisions and changes in your life but you can only control how you want to react to that, okay? And if you want to pay it any mind at all. It's like as long as you know that you're making the right decisions for yourself and the direction that you want to go, nobody can tell you nothing. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at who, what, where, and when. So when could something be happening that a crisis intuition is right about? We have the sun card. This could be in the summer for you guys. Uh, you may have an intuitive hunch that right now you could be feeling some kind of stillness, okay? And it's like the universe is preparing you for some kind of glow up. You may feel like in the summer, there's going to be some kind of glow up. This is the sun. So it could be around August, July energy for you guys. You may feel like something big is going to come in. You also could feel like in the summer, something will come to light okay something will reveal itself to you or somebody could reveal itself to you okay this could be about vulnerability as well and someone kind of being open and vulnerable with you you may have like a intuitive nudge okay that this is when something will happen let's clarify this one what's happening in this summer oh spirit has a story we have the six of cups we have the eight of cups and we have the five of cups which is interesting um, a lot of you, you may realize that there's going to be a new chapter that somebody could be offering you in the summer after walking away from kind of a state of being that is really just depressing them or leaving them feeling like they want more in life. And eventually it will lead them to kind of step out on faith and start to move in a way where they feel like they're aligning their actions with something that feels like it's giving them that, that sense of purpose. Somebody that could be lacking the sense of purpose or maybe this is you in the summer. Like maybe you feel like you've been lacking the sense of purpose or direction and that will become evidently clear here for you. And that could just be you gaining more clarity around the people that you want to be connected to, the places that you want to be connected to, wherever it is that you want to move towards. Let's go ahead and get one, okay? And see if Spirit can has anything more to say about this one this could be about a decision okay where somebody has been holding back i definitely get as strong about a person it's like heavy on the i already know like you may feel like someone is coming towards you in the summer which is interesting because i feel like we got the summertime um for the last reading that we did for you and two of swords and the strength again it's all about somebody holding back from something maybe because of ego or like fear um of some kind of outcome and then waiting to receive some kind of information um around you that helps aid them in this decision making process around coming forward and offering you some kind of commitment this could be about you guys getting scouted could be a business opportunity or again like a love commitment this is the marriage card um or symbol so yes there could be someone that's making a decision around opening up towards you and again to your ego card so it's like somebody holding back uh, because of like fear of rejection of some kind because that's like the sun cards like worst fear and it will require them to kind of be open and vulnerable and remove themselves from a certain set of circumstances okay and this could be like the limitations of their own mind all right who what where when why let's go ahead and take a look at why your intuition is picking up on these things We 
have the king of wands and then we have the high priestess um so why your intuition is picking up on these things is you guys have invested into certain like people places and things in the past and you're realizing that maybe you've been growing weeds like maybe you were in like feeding the monster in ways right you're investing into people places and things that just became taxing to you or just fell out of alignment with your bigger vision and goal in life and now you guys are gaining a clearer sense of like I would say like um, a clearer sense of direction in regards to the bigger vision and then being more selective with your investments into people, places and things because you know they will grow evidently but you're asking yourself are you growing weeds or are you growing flowers um, and you're taking a moment to like smell the flowers of how far it is you have been and you're now better understanding what is in alignment, who would be in alignment. Even if you don't know the form, it's like you know the essence of that, you know the vibration behind the state. And we have 10 of wands and you're actually taking some kind of like spiritual accountability there with the high priestess to take every step that you need to make in order to reach some kind of completion point that you have when it comes to a visionary goal in your life. So especially with the justice, I feel like this is about you guys realizing that true happiness is going to be like a glow up within itself. And a lot of you are almost like fully dedicating yourself towards a state of being where you feel like it's been worth the trouble or it's been worth like the hardship or the sacrifices that you've had to make and you're gonna judge your success and the reason why this is happening is so that you can begin to judge your success not by how climb you uh it's not by how high you climb on that summit but by the deeper steps that you've had to crawl out of and realizing that failure was a part of this success and everything has served a purpose and you're able to identify when things no longer serve a purpose in your life and they start to become a burden and they start to weigh you down from that bigger vision and people come in and try to pull you out of alignment with that vision and you're now able to identify that and stand in your power and make important decisions around you know are people operating on the same plane of consciousness as your own here with the high priestess you know she uses discernment's lens to see if people are in alignment with her are in alignment with her bigger vision maybe some of you it's like a spiritual mission there with the justice you know about living in your authentic truth and people that come in and make you question your authenticity or question you you know it's like this is happening so that you can begin to no longer adapt yourself to fit in with certain people but never change who you are and allow people to adapt to you you know and if they can't then you know boy bye so Aquarius I hope that you enjoyed this reading hopefully it gave you a clarification or insight that you needed uh, around this hopefully you found it entertaining at the very least but take a look at your other Aquarian readings on my second channel that's going to be linked in the description box down below personal reads are also down below if you're not already subscribed to this channel and want to stick around for future reads you can consider subscribing but until next time Aquarius bye